Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Excalibur and I am here with Excalibur's Anvil Build Series Season 5. Uh, I am currently working on a new premium vehicle for Shattered Realm. So with the success of the uh, of the Cultivator and all that it does, it's a uh, all-in-one mining salvaging vessel, furnaces, deconstructors, constructors, Multi turrets, HVCV drills, everything, all in one, right? CV cargo. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna solve another issue, another issue with multiplayer, and that is transport, cargo transport for mainly for traders, mainly for traders to be able to transport large orders to their respective customers in an efficient and timely manner. And in order to do this, you need a vehicle that can hold a lot of stuff. But wouldn't it be great if you had a vehicle that wasn't a huge freaking carrier CV and it was an SV, but it had all the uh, cargo size of a CV? That's what we've done here, guys. So um, I I've already started this. Um, these, you know, you you're aware these are extensions. These are uh, container extension controllers. And we, we've got advanced constructors on top. So as you can see, I've put CV advanced constructors on top of an SV platform. What I've also done is put CV extensions. So if you open one of these, this is a full 320,000 volume cargo extension system. And guys, we've got 10 of them on this thing. So <laughs> this basically has all of the capacity and efficiency of you know a huge huge cv uh like you know j randall's sharon but look how small this thing is so <laughs> yeah it's gonna be you know it's gonna be a little bit more than this but it's not gonna be that big it's gonna be an sv and i'm not even totally sure of the shape yet but uh yeah right now i'm trying to get all of the efficiency in this thing first then we'll worry about what it's gonna look like so so with these extension systems um, not only are you gonna be able to transport stuff but you're gonna be able to basically refine and break down stuff as a trader so um, you know with watching traders they have these CVs and they have lots of uh, lots of production going on so that on the fly they can place orders um, or sorry they can receive orders and they can produce them within the CV and transport them all in one so they're not having to move stuff around. So I wanna give them that capability, but in a much smaller frame here. So we're gonna, uh, gonna grab some more items that are normally for base and CV, and we're gonna use them in this uh, application here for an SV. So it's gonna grab one of these. So it's basically gonna give you an output box. Um, so you have the input, you know, you did put all your ore or whatever, and then you have the uh, you have the out box here. Or, you know, I assume maybe, you, I, I don't know. It's, it's whatever they wanna do. Like if the, if the trader wants to produce ammunition, for instance, you'd have an entire extension system to do that. And it would output to here, right? So this is a 16, here, let's go ahead and paste it in here. So this is a uh, 16,000 volume, right? So that's a good amount of uh, ammunition or whatever, right? But I'm just trying to give them that versatility of the input and output so that they're not having to input to one and to another. So. I, think we'll, uh, I think we'll give them two. Let's give them two. So now we're going to expand this. We're going to copy that again. And we're going to move it over. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Wraith, what's going on, man? Thank you for the cheers. I heard that you had a issue with a certain uh, karambit there. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sort that out after the stream for you. I think it's over on Algeria and Grant. Hey, Iron Witch, how you doing? Ah, it's no problem. We'll sort out. There you go. Yeah, hey, happy Easter to you too, Iron. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do there. Let's do that. Let's go back over one. There we go. There we go. All right, so we've got an input. Sorry, we got an output one and two. Or, you know, input even. I mean, whatever. It's whatever they want to do. Like, if they want to input stuff, like, let's say they're making a lot of something, right? And they're going to need this 320,000 down here. They would just input, you know, whatever. And then they just keep refeeding it if they needed to. So. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now, what we also need is some um, small constructors because these things are pretty handy when you have to break down small things. Excuse me. Uh, ah, I don't know why that happens. That's been happening to me lately. I can't go back to selection tool now. So I go there, that's fine. But when I try to go and select something, it doesn't like it anymore. And I actually have to leave the game and come back. That's a stupid bug, I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, nice, You're using the flapjack. Very cool. Yeah, so today Wraith made in the, uh, what we're doing is we're working on a cargo SV premium vehicle for Shattered Realm. Now, this is going to have 10 320,000 CV cargo extension systems on this SV. It's going to have advanced constructors, it's going to have small constructors, we're going to have probably two furnaces. Um, yeah, this thing's going to, we're going to have a deconstructor, and this thing's going to devastate. It's, it's going to be epic, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be nuts. So it's gonna be for PVEers to basically produce. Um, I'm trying to promote trade. I'm trying to promote um, the interest of trade, and you know that involves getting PVEers to want to do that. So if I can give them, you know, a cool condensed build that has a lot of cool extra equipment you wouldn't normally have on an SV. And yeah, you know, a little bit of RP value as well, right? And just the ability to uh, to do these things would be kind of cool. So, see how it goes. Of course, it'll have a lot of amenities. I'll have a clone chamber in there. I'll have you know, I'll have warp drive and all that good stuff. So this is gonna be it's gonna be a high ticket item. It's gonna have everything. Back in here. Let's see if this works now. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why that does that. It's flipping annoying though. Alright, so I've already used up the room with those boxes for that. So I'm thinking of putting them in between here and then just having a. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then basically I'll have, let's use cargo composite box. Yeah. Some of these as well. This, let's go along here, put these here. Oop. I 
haven't decided the shape of this or how big I want this. Um, still kind of debating that. But so yeah, so we'll have this. So yeah, we'll have one up here. We'll have one down here. Um, I wonder how I want to do this because I want it to be designated for each extension system, right? So I want it to. If we do a piping system here, maybe that would be better. Let's try that. Um, so if I go, okay, let's do let's do this. So let's go symmetry now. All right. Uh, the ships you buy in premium are only good for one season or until a new update is that correct yes so once the season is over um yeah you don't get those ships all right now if i one one so if we do that i'd like to have two if possible not really built that way. Well, yeah, I could do one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so yeah, all right. Now let's get out of symmetry mode. Go back to the selection mode. And actually, we just select this one because we've already done that. Like that. Now we're gonna go up. We're gonna paste like that. And now we're gonna need to turn that. We're gonna choose the rotation. Oh, not gonna like that. We're gonna turn it like this, just like that. All right. So now we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up one more, just like that. Yep. And now that's going to uh, gonna paste that there. And we're gonna move two blocks over. Let's paste again. Let's rotate. Let's go up one. Like that. Paste. All right, cool. That's our test. We'll uh, do something here. We're gonna do a uh, new pipe. Let's do this one. Now let's do a walk here. Oh, and I'm an idiot. All right, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to change that, didn't I? Man, last night was nuts. Last night was a crazy, crazy, crazy night. Got a lot of progress though in uh in uh, space engineer, so pretty happy about that. Yeah, let's change that real quick. Then. Put the wireless between them on one side and the cord on the other. Yeah, well, we're doing so many of them, right? We're doing like 10 instances of that. So it's going to be basically 20 small controller or small structure. I'll have a place for the wireless somewhere in the center of that piping or something. Um, and update it. Boom. All right, cool. Thank you for letting me know about that. Hey, thanks for the cheers again, right? I appreciate that. Hype for the uh, hype for the SV premium. I love it. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I messed that up. All right. Um. 
That, let's go back to that. Let's go there. There we go. <laughs> Wraith Maiden is the bit leader, folks. Thanks for all that support, man. Appreciate that. All right, we're gonna copy that. And then we're gonna move that over here. Bam. So each one of these is gonna get this. It's a lot of production value right here. Zovia is going to be happy. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to uh, we're going to move this out. Paste. We're going to rotate. We're going to move. So paste. You'll have her order in by the end, <laughs> right? No, Sobe's interested in this thing too. So like, I don't think this is going to be the vessel that I was talking about for like the all-in-one roleplay one this is more of a freighter kind of yeah this is a specialized build so all right so we got that out of the way let's go out of selection mode here for now so now let's start worrying a little bit about how this thing's gonna perform let's go out of god mode and let's just walk this and see yeah so plenty of headroom plenty of ability to see things grab things if you need to Everything's right there, cool. Excuse me. Yep, so I am happy about this. We got plenty of walk room as well. Do what you gotta do. Two people can be in here easily working. So, yeah, I think that works. So, now we've got advanced constructors. We've got those. So, what we'll do is, um, I wonder how I want to do this. I wonder how I want to do this. I feel like I need to have two more systems. Either that or cut down two systems and put one system as a furnace, one system as a deconstructor. So maybe the two on the end can serve that purpose. Whoa, what happened? Wait, what happened to these? What's going on here? Oh, I see them, but I don't see them. That's weird. Uh, all right. All right, Imperion, what's going on? Go out and in. I mean, I saw the one part of it. Coffee time. Coffee time is always acceptable. So those are back. Um, I'm, mm. I don't know what the best way to do that. Is Zovia here? Zovia. Is 
Zovia. Because if you had a furnace and you had a deconstructor, I mean, you could point them at anyone you want, and that way you can feed any system you want. You don't have to feed just a specific one. But then I'm thinking maybe it'd be good to have a system for each, and then you can shuffle them after the fact. Hey, Dragon, what's up? There? So I'm kind of debating here. I don't know. I don't know which uh, which way to go with this. Let me pop into the other uh, Discord chat real quick. Use the Reaper as a taxi. Hey guys, what's what's up, guys? Sorry, I'm. I have, up, I killed, I have a I question. A, uh, tower, or I mean, a holy ground. Oh, nice. Can't find the core though. Oh, that sucks. I'm still looking. Um, I had a question for you, Zobia. I'm I'm live in the anvil right now, and we're working on this uh, right. small vessel, right? But so I've got ten extension systems with um, advanced constructors, small constructors for each, and then I've got two CV regular boxes, so thirty-two K for an output or or whatever, right? So I'm mm -hmm. thinking, like, I want to add a deconstructor and a furnace. But should they have their own extension systems, or would it just would you just mainly put connected to any system that you kind of wanted the stuff in? I would uh, I would use uh, well with the furnace. I usually just put a container system, a small one that just has ores, and then I I'll put it into my um, input for the factories. But as far as the deconstructor, I just use a box because I usually don't need anything too big. Right. Um, how badly do you think adding two new systems, albeit small, would affect the shape of the build? Oh no, I don't think it would bother it too much. I mean, I just, I just didn't know if it was because I mean, I my thought was like, you know, you fill this box full of ore and just let the furnace do its thing, and then it'll also have small constructors next to that system for the magnesium and stuff, and it can all output into the same box. And then the same with the deconstructor, you go and you uh, salvage some bunch of POIs and you just throw all that crap in there. And let us do its thing, and then disperse it after the fact. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say a separate one is necessary. No. So okay, so I guess just put the furnace and the deconstructor, and then you can just basically utilize the other extension systems for that. Yeah, because you got what ten extensions, so mm -hmm. that should be plenty to divide up and to how you want. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Cool, cool. Thank you, guys. Sure thing. Alright, so we got our answer there. Alright, so, yeah, so we'll just put the, uh, we'll just put the systems, we'll just put the two equipment there, and then they can basically, uh, New prec on the go, very nice. <laughs> All right, so to put the furnace, I do want to. I do want it to be a little showy. I want it to to look like a, a proper. Um, you know, I don't want to hide stuff. Is what I'm saying. Like I want it to uh, everything to be visible here. So we're gonna uh, do that here. Let's, this will be the back of the vessel, right? Let's go into uh, symmetry here. Okay, so that'll be the three. So a furnace is three by three, right? So this will be the three that it's actually. Boom. So that's where the furnace will go. And the deconstructor. Coffee than Conan. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, so let's grab a... Uh... Selection tool here. There we go. So that way, one that way, that way, one that way. Do this way. Copy that. Oh yeah, those corridors were sweet, right? Yeah, I really like those too. Hey, Neoteca, what's up? Yeah, it's always a good time to ask questions. What is it that's going on though? SVHVs dock to our CVs and we go in and out of atmosphere, our SVs we get messed up. You mean they bury into the ground or like they collide with the CVs? That's a known bug. That that's happened to everybody really. I mean it's it's something that's always for a while there with the patch, like things were just not docking and falling into the ground and stuff when they were docked, but that's always been a thing where yeah, they'll collide and you gotta like pull them apart. It's a known issue. You've tried to get into the cockpits and literally pull them apart? Are you saying they're just completely morphed together? My CV landing gears, core, and doors are somehow copy pasted into my fighter jet CV that was docked inside. You mean like when they're pulled apart, there's still CV parts on it? Have you tried relogging? That doesn't fix it.
Yeah, I've never. I don't think I've ever experienced that to where uh, relog didn't solve it. I mean, if anything, I would. Uh, I would go to the Imperion uh, forums and post the bug. It's usually the best way to see if something's already been uh, dealt with or not. It could, I mean, I don't know. It could be maybe the way it was built or something. I don't know. I, I can't, I can't say. All right, so now we need the deconstructor to. deconstructed it's pretty cool. all right so that solves that let's uh you don't think so just for quicker uh, have two of them connected to one thing to just spit it out quicker I guess only one does. Right? I don't know. How does that work? Do they? They don't distribute double. I don't know. Oh God! Fine, dragon. It is a premium. There's no expense. It's just you know. Whatever I want to do. Alright, the uh... Hey Blazer, what's up man? I am working on a new premium vehicle. <laughs> SV SV from hell. Let's uh do food management over there then since dragon doesn't wanna let me have to. Cool man. Um uh, 
which is <laughs> yes, yes, it will have CV warp, sir. Absolutely. All right, so now this is where I really got to figure out. What I want to do here, um, I think the I think the bridge is gonna have most of the medical stuff. I'm gonna leave those blank for now. Let's focus up here and see what we got. No, no, no. We'll have an ATM. There'll be an ATM. Don't worry. And there'll be a little box for SIG. It would be cool to have an ATM at each extension, but I don't, I don't see the point. That's, that's a bit much. It's a bit much there. Two deconstructors, not, not so much. But, yeah. He said, that's a bit much. If I'm being honest. Close those off there. All right. So now let's work on the bridge. I'm still debating how I want this thing to look. It's, it's obviously gonna mirror some traits to that, but I, I don't know. I feel like that's where it's going, right? Like there's only so much I can do unless I add a lot of blocks that I don't necessarily need to. I don't know. Combat steel, nah. Yeah, if you think I'm gonna sit here and copy and paste every block, you're crazy. It's not happening. <laughs> that is not gonna happen. I don't know if I can do combat small. That's a, that's something. Well, let me save it first, cause I don't wanna like, what do we call this thing? We didn't even start it yet. Cargo blade shattered. Boom. Where is crazy? I don't know. Good point. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm good, Jerry. I'm good. All right, let's uh, let's see if this works though. I don't know. Maybe I could just do it that way. Twelve hundred. It's a nice round number. Re place box twelve hundred. Um, hole full. Wait, hole hardened. So, all right, so what is the whole combat? Oh, whole hard, oh, armored, not hard, armored. Not allowed to set this block on the specific structure. So it's, yeah, it's not gonna let me put the HV blocks on this thing. Wah, wah, wah. Sucks. Could make it an HP. It's good, man. It's so good. It'll be armored. It'll be good. I mean, this thing can't be invincible. It's got to have some, you know. Get 
rid of the SV controller. What? Come on, the core? What you mean controller? All right, let's grab a Well, I mean, we'll play with it when we're done with the whole thing anyway, because I wouldn't want to change it till then. Play with it then. That's the thing. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I just don't know how. Hey, Santa, what's going on? Oops. I guess it'd be kind of interesting to have it like that, right? Do that. So... So we do the scanners. This actually treats different things, though, doesn't it? Thermal burn, frostbite, open wound. Poisoning thermal burn frostbite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, let's let's do that. All right, so we'll do this one. Yeah, yeah. Now the med station is only one block. When you convert it to a small frame, you won't be able to spawn in it. Or you would, but it'd just be weird. So we're gonna put the scanners in the. So this med station does the same thing, and then we'll just do the scanners just for all the things. So. Gives us one, two, one, two, three, four, yeah. Okay, cool. Put it there. Paste. Alright, now we're gonna go to base. Let's grab the uh base medical scanners.
should just kind of do them all at once here, right? Do that. Bam. Bam. Look at that. Nice. Nice. All right. Let's take a walk here. Bam. 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 Yeah. Some. I'll just put like block decorations there to separate that. That was nice. All right. So we got that sorted. Armor locker action or something. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's do that. Let's do armor locker on there. Do something else. I like how that lines up. Look at that. Ooh, that's crisp. That is super crisp. Look at that. Ah. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what things line up, but it's like, all right. So that's good on that side. On this side, we'll do. Uh, I don't know. I still gotta figure this out, like this bridge thing. Wireless under the armor section. Under the armor station. Yeah, we can do that. So put a box there. I want to do something with the piping with this and the core because this looks good on pipes. Oh, okay. Bam! Get to use it. Look at that. So, 
We'll do... <laughs> uh, what else? Um, all right, so now let's focus on the cockpit here. Where is the warp drive? Need that. So this is a three by two by three. Is it? It's the same thing. But I guess I, I don't think it matters with the warp drive. I think it's the warp fuel. But whatever, we'll put it in here anyway. Hey Pug, what's up man? The combat orbital bit. <laughs> you will. You absolutely will, sir. Um sooner than you think. It's gonna happen. Yeah, I know. No, it's there. Trust me. I got I got big plans for that. Nice. Congrats, Sylvia. Very cool. Good job.
put a Let's uh, just put an SV generator on here for now, just to test. Right. Um, a couple of these. I want to test and see if that radiates while I'm standing up here. I don't think it will. I'm pretty far away from it here. Just doesn't seem to be emitting any radiation. That's weird. Oh, there we go on this side. Uh, yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Cool. All right, you know what's next, guys. We'll put the warp tank somewhere. I'm not worried about that. I, I, <laughs> time to have some fun. Um, there we go. Uh, uh, uh no. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, take it easy there. Let's see. We need a generator. Not just any generator. Rather large generator. <laughs> yeah. Got a hemi on this thing. Copy. All right. Um, that's adorable. That's freaking adorable. I approve. All right. But you know what sucks though is yeah, it's misaligned. Do we need two of these? I feel like we need two of them. Yeah, you gotta have two of them. Right. Honestly, you might. I don't think you will, but you might. Oh boy. Um, how am I gonna do this? Why? Why is it not centered? Why is it two? It's so stupid. Why didn't you make it as wide as the freaking warp tank? Why did you make it two? It's just so dumb. Two, two. Alright, let's do it. It's two as well, right? Is that two? Or is this three? Oh wait, is it three that way? No, it's two. Yeah, it's two, but damn it! Dual Hemi, yeah, we might, might have to do two. It might be overkill. It's a premium, who cares? I just talked myself into it. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um, so we're gonna go back. Down. Go over. Was done. What did I do that for? Uh, um, cut over one, paste, paste. There we go. Wait, want to 
turn him over, right? Let's turn him over. Cut. Paste. Turn. There we go. Paste. Over. Cut. Paste. Turn. Paste. It's just it's just awesome. That's all it is. It's just awesome, guys. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly where I'm gonna want them based on the shape of the vessel, but I don't know what we're doing. I mean, I could could put them on top of the cargo, I guess, but yeah. Let's see. Let's see how we go. All right, so. I could do them spade out, connected to each other, so it showed up in the middle. I could do that. Let's let's see how that looks. Um, so cut, paste, turn like that. And the wing wouldn't go back there. The wing would. Come Right, so let's move up like that, and we'll move it out to yeah, and okay. let's just drag this one over here, so rotate. Yeah, we don't really see that either, right? Hmm. That sucks, man. If it was in the middle, it would be epic. Like, brr. Might, might just be overkill. there for now let's see how, see how the wing goes all right so that takes care of that for now now uh, we need fuel tanks we need thrusters thrusters are gonna be a thing we need fuel tank we need thrusters we need weapons yeah we'll do some cool stuff with some weapons here It's not gonna work there. I don't want to make it that tall just to just to cover those. Let's uh. Why are you doing that? Why are you being stupid? <laughs> the hell? Let's, let's come out.
weird. All right, we'll do that for now. Um, so, so, still got food production. We still got uh, all that stuff's minimal. Easy to put. Thrusters are going to be a thing, though. So for thrusters, we're doing CV thrusters, obviously. Um, we're going to do large, I think. Extra large, I think, is too much. We'll do large. See how it moves. Yeah. Um, Food plots on each side of the food plots. You can't do it. Yeah, we tried that. Um, we actually did a test. This is a uh, this is a garden on an SV or an HV. One of those SV HV. But basically, I copied and pasted the grow plots, and I had to copy and paste the sprouts. You can't plant the sprouts on these. They won't allow you. You actually have to copy them over. And because of that, they're not growing. So I've taken it into survival. We've tested it. We've watered them. We've done everything we need to do. No dice. Oxygenated environment. You don't see a ventilator here, but there's a ventilator in the one we tested. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. It sucks. It really sucks. Because that would be cool to just have a... Uh, a portable garden with you know docking pads that you could just dock on your base and it's like a portable garden <laughs> you could just move that thing with you instead of having to you know what I mean take up space having a garden but yeah it doesn't work so there's just some things you can't copy and paste same thing with turrets you can't um I could I could place a HV or a CV turret on here but you can only manually fire them. You can't, uh, they won't automatically fire, so. All right, so we need fuel tanks. So we're gonna, uh, yeah. Well, let's go into cemetery again. Solar cell and capacitor. Did we ever actually try that? I don't know if we ever actually tried that. Let's see why it wouldn't work. I just don't see why. It'd be cool. I just don't think it would do that much good. If I'm being honest, I, I just don't. I don't know. I don't see the overall benefit. I mean, it'd be cool, but it's like, you know. How much is that really doing for you? You know what I mean? Just me, I don't know, it just doesn't seem... I mean, I guess idle? I guess idle is good? I don't know, we could, we could test it. I don't have a problem with testing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like it's with something with this much production, I just don't see the, the overall benefit. Now these are C V fuel tanks, so these are gonna be there's gonna be a lot of fuel in here. But heavy production. I mean this thing's gonna be maxed out, so definitely needs this. I don't even know if this will be enough to be honest, so let's see. Hey Doom, what's going on man?
We are making a cargo transport SV premium vehicle for Shattered Realm. There you go, so that's CV fuel tanks. That's a good amount of fuel there, so let's see. We will need more. <laughs> Lots more. Yeah, those are tier three. Might need to double up on those, to be honest. So, yeah, thrusters. All right, let's uh, let's give this another. Let's go back into symmetry mode here. Did you finish up the Shirosea? Yes, I did. Yeah, the Shirosea is currently on Shattered Realm as a premium vehicle. Did fix it. Um, where is it? I never... I'll show you guys since that was built here on the anvil. Yeah, so did some different things. Did some uh, <laughs> did some SV uh, cockpits just because. So deconstructor on both sides, uh, small constructors up on the top, two full uh, cargo extension systems on each side, and then uh, two extension out output systems on each side of this here. So forty eight thousand on each side for that. We got ammo here, 40,000 ammo capacity. Cleaned up some stuff, did like an HV medical station over here. Just some added comedy here. And then when you come in here, to the side now, you've got, you've got uh, cargo extension systems here. So you got two. This is a harvest one. but So you got full, complete 320,000 cargo systems on this thing. Um, I will be releasing this for a direct update to the Shirosea um, once I remove, you know, the the premium stuff. I will update the uh, actual thing. I've cleaned up the. Uh, well, we got two furnaces up here. Um, we cleaned up some of the generator problems um, from before, where the core was was kind of dangerous. So. 
wireless has been added of course there's wireless on the back as well um of course here so yeah it's been it's been updated updated for alpha 9 you got the wireless back here so yeah so i will be updating that uh soon once i get rid of those things and that's there I'd really just have to get rid of the furnaces and the deconstructors and of course the cockpits and stuff. So look for that coming soon. Um, all right, so thrusters. I think it's thruster time, guys. So I think the first thing we need to do is the bottom ones, right? The ones going down. There. Oh wait, we don't want these though. We want these. So we'll put two in the back. Put two in the back here. So let's close this off. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not in symmetry, am I? Where you at, Jet Set? Way to drop the ball there, sir. can't do that because it's selection mode, right? Okay. Oh, that's why I wasn't in it. Alright, good excuse. Alright, let's go. Uh, yep. Paste. Screw it. Alright, so. Yeah, look at how cute that is. It's adorable. What? Smaller than some of the SV thrusters. So let's do that for now. <laughs> lift. It will have lift. Alright, so if I do a wing, I'm still, honestly, I still have no idea how I want this to be shaped. I mean, obviously, it's, it's probably gonna look like the cargo blade, like, if I'm being honest. It's just how it's happened, you know, the long row, you know. Now, we, we made the cargo blade on, on the anvil, and already it looks dated to me. Some of these shapes look dated. I don't like this at all. I don't like this. I don't like a lot of this front. This whole front I don't like. I like this. I like the wing thing. I like the back. I'm cool with the back. But this front, I don't like it at all. It'll be nice to revisit that and make that better. But it's not going to be a direct. It'll be different, but we'll see. Ah, thanks for saying that. All right, so we're going to do a wing section, right? Um, Do 
You like the bag. Thank you, Iron Witch. Alright, so this is gonna go up one more, right? So that has some decent cargo or yeah, protection here. Well, this is gonna step up. This will step up. Oh, I hate this keyboard. I miss my keyboard. Stupid keys are all stuck and shit. Uh, no, Doom. I'm about halfway there. Um, hopefully mid next month I'll be able to get the most of it. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, no, not yet. About halfway there. Hopefully prices go down a little bit as well. Alright, let's, uh, so we know where the wing's gonna go. Let's get rid of these. That's what I thought.
can't say. And right blocks. Damn it. Yeah, I know. It's because I'm looking down to you guys, that's why it so looks weird. We yeah, actually put the camera below the monitor. the front here I mean this is for 
You know, it's for role play. It's not for, you know, you're not attacking any bases with this or anything, right? So I feel like I could do like an open to, an open kind of front cockpit. I'll separate the room so that it's a little safer. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll separate the room just a bit from the cargo. Well, there'll obviously be a door there anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, let's have a little fun with this. Um, I don't normally do glass anyway, so we could do that. Ooh, I don't normally do glass. <laughs> so, see, this sucks because it would be so cool to use that hard CV glass, but, you know, it would be so small if I brought it in. It'd be this big. And then that line. You can do like the transit. You can do like with the transit the glass with two prongs. I don't understand. Mm. I think it'd be better if I made the shape first and then replaced with glass. I think I think we'll do that. Because otherwise, I'm going to get lost in the glass, and it's not going to be the shape I want. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't I didn't think you meant the transit is the name of a ship. I was confused. Seems to come out more.
Hey, Annie, how you doing? We are building a premium SV with all kinds of CV craziness going on there. Furnaces and advanced constructors and 10 complete CV cargo extension systems on an SV. <laughs> yeah. Going a bit nuts, sir. Yeah, they need to be re re figured out basically.
Nikki, right? I just wish glass was better looking. <laughs> like it just, nah. it's just so weird. The framing of it. Yes, please. God, give us some borderless freaking windows. That would be epic. Look at that. I mean, it just looks horrible. That's why I don't ever do windows. They just look bad. I wonder if the thin ones would be better. Getting carpal tunnel just doing this. This keyboard sucks. Not my old keyboard, and it's driving me nuts. If I do that, then the whole thing would have to be wider because these are one by twos. So then I'd either only be able to use one of them. Yeah. I'm I'm not in love with the glass. The glass really upsets me. Let's try a uh, regular glass, not the armored. I mean, I am gonna do a uh, an armored cockpit on the top, like a secure cockpit, if you will. Know. Better. Now, very weakly armored. Better. 25 hit points? Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's like, come on, man. It's like, people wonder why I never do these. Because they're just, that's just ridiculous. 25 hit points? 
Really? That's like one shot from anything. Come on. The heavy glass for the CVs are only going to be one block. So that's that's going to look ridiculous because it's going to be those big stupid frames. Yeah, we're not going to do an exposed front. This just looks stupid. 25. Jesus, that's ridiculous. Like, come on, man. What are blocks behind them, yeah. The problem is, it looks stupid. Like, the function is one thing, but it just looks bad. The last time I did a, uh, a window thing was this stupid thing. Just did the regular old windows. Let me see how that looks. angle for that this is uh, the other one oh Thanks. let's try that It's just not gonna look right. I mean, I guess I could do bars in between that. Top, you know, you have them. See, they need to just give us glass that's blocks. Give us glass that's blocks. Just give us, like, the same way you have composite, give us glass. And let us make the freaking glass the way we want to make it with all these shapes. Oh, you can imagine that? You can imagine just having, like, blocks of glass that you could just manipulate and do whatever you want? It's like, oh my god. You can make Wonder Woman's jet. That would be awesome. <laughs> 
sucks. Um, We could we could do this though. Let's 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 see how that looks armored. And if we're doing that, we might as well do the other one. Cause that's I think yeah. Let's try that. Ah, uh, face windows. Is this right? I don't know. We'll test it. All right. Let's get rid of symmetry. Get a selection. I'll get the little corner one and uh, fix that. So we got that. Let's uh, let's do the other one here. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, so less function. Well, we'll move the cockpit over. Whatever. Be somewhat useful, not really. More for show, I guess. Which sucks. I mean, that's not my style, man. Like, I wanted to. I just don't have a whole lot of uh,
Wow, I can see through this little tiny sliver. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, whatever. Um, so gotta figure out how this translates to going up here. Let's see here. Let's go back into symmetry. Because I see you building a lot but not publishing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't know. Uh, the box cutter needs to go in the workshop. I haven't put that up yet. Um, the Recluse 2 needs to go in the workshop. The. Uh, This thing needs to go to the micro bunker. This needs to go in the workshop. This, this is done. I've textured this and fixed all the inconsistencies that were here. I think. It, yeah, I think so. Oh, clone chamber, right? Yeah, oh, clone chamber's there. Yeah. So, full level 7 base. Everything you can need with a full cargo extension system for uh, on the cheap. Look how cheap that is for a full cargo extension system on a base. That's pretty beast. Gotta say. So, yeah. It's got everything too. Every freaking thing you need in the beginning. Put your deconstructor there when you get it. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, it's level 7 there, guy. Level 7. Base, uh, med stations unlock at... 10. So I wanted it to be level 7, so... You would, of course, replace that when you get to level 10 with a medic station. So... Yeah, this will probably be the next thing, to be honest. This is done. This is something I'd, I'd want to put on the workstation as a, uh... As an upgrade to the sandstone drop base. I know. Um, so yeah, flapjack's not gonna go on the workstation or the workshop. That's uh, I made that exclusively for the community, so I've already given that out. You guys have that. Um, that still needs to go on the workshop. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Plenty of stuff, just yeah. Oh, the lockpick too. I didn't even see you there, lockpick. Look at you, all small. Yeah, this little guy's been proven. So that's gonna go in the workshop too. So. Yeah, we'll get there. I kind of like this though. I like that I'm building stuff, but not everything's necessarily making it to the workshop because, you know, there's some things that, you know, we built it like we built that bigger bunker. We built two bunkers. We built a nail bunker and we built the other one, and I just wasn't completely happy with them. So I didn't put them up there, and I, I kind of like that. Oversaturating with all these things, like I just kind of want to have more exclusive stuff, I think, now. But I think the box cutter probably needs to go up. Um, the only reason I haven't put it up yet is because... Um, Sig made me feel so bad about this thing. No, I'm kidding. Because of the cost versus the uh, the level, so I still haven't gotten one of these legit. 
in a survival, so I want to see how that progression goes and see if it's worth it. I don't think that this needs to go that wide. It kind of does, though, doesn't it? Because this is wide. Um, we could tighten that up a little bit. We could tighten up this cockpit a little bit. It might be too wide. Um, No, no, that's fine. I'm all about interaction, so not a issue at all. Yeah, because this is a lot of room, and I've got nothing over here. Um, I can move these. Above, actually. Well, I can move these over here, actually. I could definitely find room for the other stuff up here. Yeah, I'm thinking that's the way to go. It's a bit smaller here. Let's do that. Um, this can go anywhere. I'm not worried about that. Let's take these. Let's take this stuff here. Yeah, right now. D and D, not bad. You know, what we don't have is an O2 station. So do that. It's the best. It'd be the coolest way to show that off. Let's say here. Um, I need the warp drive tank. Uh, we need food process here. Okay, we need stuff. So let's, let's get all this stuff. We need that. We need a fridge. And then on the SV side, I mean an armor locker and O2 station. Because the O2 station on the SV looks way better than it does on the CV. Thank you. 
put them at the entrance. Yeah, we'll worry about that in a minute. All right, let's uh, we're definitely gonna need at least one more space here. So let's just fix that. Profile there, it's too, it's too much. All right, so I need to wrap this. We'll figure out those things after. Let's get the shape first.
<laughs> yeah. All right. It's weird. I gotta say it's weird. Um, let's drop this down one. Well. Just put the cockpit up there. Let's try to put the cockpit up there. Two cockpits. Ooh, ooh, two cockpits. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. Hold on. Um, one, two. one and maybe this one put one in the back too mm Hey, BJ Marina, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. All that cargo awesomeness here. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I mean, we still got plenty of room to put the clone chamber, all that crap. Let's put it on the sides instead of... You know, we're good. I like the thin. We'll have to shape this down. We'll probably have this come out, flare out like that. To where it doesn't look just like a hunkin' block of turd. Yeah, we good. Thruster, thrusters. Thruster, thruster, guys. Let's get some thrusters on here. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like we gotta flare out with the, with the front ones. Uh, let's see. Thruster, thrusters. Do the regular one. Boom. Action. Hey, Judah, it's buffering for you? Hey, <laughs> Hilda. <laughs> yeah, cheating again. Gotta say. Things are so small when you turn them on here. It's almost like I need the XLs. Alright, CV Thruster, calm down there, guy. Take it easy there, champ. Jesus. Like, shoot, forget about headlights. What I need is this thing. Yeah, I can't even see. My god.
<laughs> All right, so that takes care of that. Let's distribute some back here. <laughs> nice. So left and right would be left and right. Okay, so obviously, I mean, quite obviously, we're gonna put a base hangar door on this thing. I mean, why wouldn't we, right? Just come on. Have to. Guys, we have to. So, how many blocks is this? Personally, here. This is five blocks, right? So, what's the smallest one? Five. Perfect. Freaking perfect. All right, let's do it. Wait, that's not big enough to even freaking walk through. <laughs> so, that's not even tall enough. All right, we're going to have to do them sideways. We can do that. Um... This is problem. All right, so we need the bigger one. Uh, next one is the same three. We need a taller one, seven five. This guy, the one. Let's do it.
makes us run even now, you little bastard. It's freaking uneven. Is it? Hold on a second, is it? Oh, that's good. Okay. Oh yeah. What? Alright. I'm talking about, you gotta have it. I mean, come on. You gotta have that. You can't not have that. I mean, really? Come on. If I did the, uh... Wait, what if I did the CV thingy? Oh... No, I can't do that. Yeah, never mind. Um... What's this? Not we need SV. SV rampies. Okay. Uh, that'd be interesting. No, not shutters. Amps. Uh, let's take it down a little bit, shall we? Let's see. Here. There we go. Seven. Uh, yep. That is it. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Let's do a little trickery here. Symmetry. Carve this back out real quick. to go actually
<laughs> What's up? What's up, man? Look at that, it's so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I am building a premium vehicle for Shattered Realm. A uh, a mass cargo SV carrier with a uh, 10 CV 320k cargo extension systems, furnaces, deconstructors, freaking everything, man. Freaking everything, yo. Look at this thing. What? What? All right, let's uh, let's see how this works, cause it doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. We got fuel. We got this. We got that. We got everything. Okay, let's try it. Um, get into here. Here. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Let's put an ammo box in here. Just for testing purposes. Let's test. Uh, I mean, for now we'll just put a, a CB one. But, or an SV one. But of course we'll have a CB one. What? Oh, that's not the smallest. Oh, let's see. Flack. Flack. Don't give me any flack. Uh, they're usable, but they're manually usable. They are usable, sir. Well. Whatever. That's good. Let's uh, let's see here, let's see here. Oh, right. Uh, planet, right? Uh, oh god, cool. Oh, forgot about that. Uh, all right. So yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That's fine. I guess we'll do minigun turrets too, but I don't know where. It's for space, man. That's for space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I like that. <laughs> that is freaking cool. All right, so yeah, that happened. 
What else are we doing there? So we'll put some mini guns, but I go somewhere else. So we do like a hatchy thing, like a get out of the hatch thing. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Looks a little more menacing. Ah, see what I did there? Menacing. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, That, that's probably going to change. Um, on, move it. <laughs> why, why do you need things that trigger me? I don't know. Why do you want to trigger me, sir? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, that's too high. I feel like I need to go down one with this. Yeah, it's getting there. I don't know. 
The bottom still has to be fleshed out. The bottom is still a freaking thing. Um. Okay, we're gonna put the uplifters here. Let's do that. Yeah, it's in <laughs> Yeah. Trust me, they're gonna be covered up.
Oh, is that muted? Sorry. <laughs> I forgot the RCS. That's cool. So probably one more of these RCSs will be fine, because this is empty and then creative once we're in weights and volume, it's gonna be a thing. Maybe even four. So it's gonna be a lot of cargo. Whoa, what the hell was that? Just a random lock pick. All right, weird. Oh, this scared the Shirosea. <laughs> it just, it just went down. Look at this. This thing fits in it. Barely. Maybe not. Nah, that's not gonna fit. Power usage is uh crazy. Actually, we'll leave it up so we can mess with the bottom. Alright, well. I think it'll probably need some more upward thrust. Um, you know, we won't know until we put weight in this thing. And yeah, we'll do that on the next episode. We'll take it in survival. We'll do the weight test. We'll see how we're going. If we get, you know, we got room for more thrust. We just need to know how much more we need to do. So we'll figure that out. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you, everybody. It was a good, uh, it was a good three-hour stream there. Some uh, Excalibur Zanville. So uh, I appreciate everybody for uh, for stopping in. We'll catch you guys on the next stream. Take care, everybody.